you uh, the TF Live coverage of Oz Fortress Season 25 premiere. Uh, this week is week two. We missed week one, unfortunately, but we're back here with some premiere gaming action with you. The teams tonight are going to be Butterfly Effect and Servo Mutts. Uh, joining me on co-cast is Beta, and on production is the wonderful Thermite. Uh, how you doing tonight, Beta? Uh, I'm doing good. It's uh, in the middle of the day for me. And it's raining outside and I don't have to go to work. So I am very, very happy <laughs> yeah. for sure. And uh, this should be a really close match. Just looking at the rosters, that looks like I can't tell who's going to win just immediately. So I'm definitely looking forward to this match. Yeah, I reckon this one definitely has a, has a lot of potential for this one. Uh, it's like... Um not necessarily the top teams like i don't see any of these teams beating out the the highest competition uh but this is definitely in my mind the competition for third and fourth place um we do actually seem to be going live right now so we might uh talk about these rosters as we get dead time throughout the game but we are heading into our very first mid just really quickly before we do start butterfly effect is red and uh the other team servo mutts is blue why don't you take us through this first mid beater sure thing Looks like we're going to see some heavy spam coming up onto the high ground here from the, the Red Soldiers. They will not find anything. It's a very passive mid so far. Both teams just waiting each other out. Here comes the Soldier Bombs in. Eugene Fane's going to jump in super aggressively. He gets taken down. So the same thing goes for Doge. And Seth's going to be the last scout and he actually gets the medic. He finds way and even out DMs another guy. Seth on a giant UK. The old man's trying to get Ivan to salvage his mid. But this is looking so bad until Seth just decided to go on a giant 4k. What a mid from him. Holy crap, that was that was insane. So like those soldier bombs got everyone down to like 10 HP in that lower corner and they only just survived some nice arrows actually keeping his team alive there. Uh, and then just like the absolute annihilation coming in uh, on the other side as they just walk forward on that damage and just everyone dying there as, as you say, Zeph uh, was just going so much, doing so much damage in the in the sort of after end of that mid fight, but that does leave them with a full uber ad as they sort of nose their way in towards this last, and they have committed that forward. Deft doing a huge pencil jump outside there. Must have got caught by a sticky or something just as he's going forward, but they only get the gun right now, and that's all they're getting. Zeph is in really far onto the medic. Lots of damage onto dog roll there, but he does get cleaned up, and that uh, huge mid has turned into a huge wipe on last, and they have like turned around right away so uh what happened there peter <laughs> it seemed like uh, the scout was playing the point and then uh, other people were trying to go for the kills so it seems to me like either they should have uh, done a better job of just like zoning around the point and then going for that and then or otherwise they should have just uh, tried to go for kills really heavily there's going to be a tiny bit of a contest here in mid uh, some people took some damage but otherwise a really good job there by the soldiers just completely zone everyone out they still have these good advantage going for them, so they're going to be trying to push forward. They're going to go through grass and uh, using the easiest way they found the sticky trap. That's all been blown. And looks like they're going to make their way onto the point pretty easily, but Rocky's actually gone down on the flank, so that has been comp compromised here. Yeah, there's uh, no no sort of committing on the side of blue team right now. As I say that, Fane is actually in behind, but him and Doge have actually met up behind them in the enemy saw. Doge is jumping really far forward. Uh, no, they've actually chosen to go lower, so Doge doesn't do anything, and they're in on last already. This Uber is being popped onto the point, and they just stand there, and there's no one in position to, stand to counter that, and they get their first round on the board, which is such commanding play. I'm really impressed by the... By the play from, uh, I believe that is, uh, my team has tabbed out Butterfly Effect. Is that correct, Peter? Well, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I think so. I, I always get these teams confused, but yes, that was uh, just Ivan going down to a sticky trap, and then just immediately <laughs> the, the team was getting rolled. Bane's gonna jump in again. These soldiers, you saw before, they definitely did the, the damage, but this time around they're doing the pushback really heavily. However, the demo man has gone down. So now it's gonna be. Uh, the red team just moving forward right now super aggressively and they are just kind of stalemated in now the second soldier bomb going to come and he's going to find his way in behind this is going to be very un uncomfortable for them but it's going to come in and onto the medic gets 100 damage rocket not quite enough though. yeah that was that was really really clutch that fane jump forward just took so much uh, uh, like 
attention away. Uh, and then they were able to spam that from Upper Doge and uh, the Demo Man both uh, spammed that down and they got so much damage and so many frags. And then just as everyone was leaving right at the end there, some nice pipes cleaned that all up from Deft. And now these, uh, even Ubers actually on last, I did not see Dogroll getting out there. I thought he died in that, but Dogroll must have survived there. These Ubers were traded forward. There's a fair bit of damage going on, but no other commitment in towards this upper lobby area. And it seems to be just like another reset on towards uh, this second to last stalemate as these Ubers are still pretty much even here, Beta. Yeah, Dogwell, he did he get out. He, I, I think he just kind of sent in here his fellow scout or something and he just ran away. So he, he got the Uber just in time. He had a slightly better Uber. But now they're going to rebuild the Uber now. Vase has gone to Sniper. He's going to just see if he can uh, snipe anyone while uh, going here. But uh, we actually do have a bit of a stalemate now. So I think this is a good time to go through the rosters. So if we look at the butterfly effect, we see Dogwell on Medic. We got Raze. And Faithless on Scouts. Currently, you see Raze on Sniper. Then we have Moop on Demo Man, and then we have Josh and Rocky. So, Josh, is that. Uh, That's Spade. Spade. Yes, okay. All right, and uh, then who do we have on the other team? Uh, we have Ivan, who is currently O Woven on your screens, for which he is definitely going to hell. Uh, Zeph is HSR, Asia Fortress Scout, as is TJ. Uh, both uh, playing from uh, various locations in Asia today, uh, which is, explains their slightly high ping. Uh, Deft is playing Demo Man, Doge and Fane are backing it up on Soldier. I imagine Fane is roaming and Doge is uh, playing Pocket there. But that's Raze actually going quite large, stepping forward into Lobby and hitting that headshot onto the Demo Man and Moop, following it up with a nice sticky kill onto the Pocket there. And they are moving forward and taking this ground. Dogroll has committed all the way forward onto that and he's in no danger right now as they are just running all the way out and this second has been recapped uh, with Ray's dying also so he can come back up scout right now and aid their their further push into mid here, Beta. All part of the plan. Strategically dying there to make sure he can go scout. Well done. Yeah, it was just they lost two players and they just completely moved out of there. Like uh, uh, Thermo or Servo much. They just didn't even contest a second, which is uh, quite weird because Snake Water is known to be a point that you can definitely hold when you're you're a man down. But they didn't even bother with doing that. We see Rocky up on uh, the awning there, just holding the, the window as best as he can. So uh, this kind of situation is pretty interesting. You see, yeah, Dark was in the, the classic medic position. There's going to be a soldier jumping in here, getting so just. Uh, lifted into the air there by the scouts. He actually did get a, a nice rocket onto Dogwell, but that was going to be the only thing he got. And at the same time, Fane actually went down as well. So now we're going to see a very aggressive push coming. Yeah, and this is Spade and Faithless both muscling this point really far forward. Rocky did die on the flank there, I believe, just before, but this Uber trade has come in and they're actually choosing to walk backwards off that Rocky pick and just regroup and, and actually give up quite a lot of ground for that. Not sure if they necessarily needed to give up all of that ground, but it seems like they have been capitalized on on the side of blue team as HSR has just walked forward and absolutely crushed Faithless on the flank. We do see one soldier jumping in quite aggressively. Uh, no real uh, damage on that just yet. He does actually clean up Spade on the flank there. There's Oh, so many low players. Fane does die, but Rocky gets cleaned up as well, as does... Uh, uh, sorry, his Faithless must still be spawning. He must have got a really long spawn timer, but they're muscling this forward so quickly now on this off Uber push. Deft looks like he could get oh, caught, but he doesn't. That sticky just getting Moop instead. They were both so low, and they're definitely going to move on that. Doge is taking the high ground right now, and Zeph is actually... Oh, he loses that scout duel between two scouts. Doge is jumping super far forward, but now Rocky's up on heavy. They do pop this Uber, and they actually do have a little bit more add than I think they were counting on here. Dogroll still doesn't have his Uber. He's only on 95% does manage to there get it in go. time to use to save this point. They've actually chosen to back right out, though, and just play their Uber. They're Actually, no, I like that. They just the walked edge. all the way in. Sorry, yeah, I saw Do uh, not Dog Roll, Ivan walk all the way back, and now they've just walked all the way in, making me eat my words just there. But that is a pretty quick answering round. Very few stalemates in this fight so far, and it does look like we indeed have quite the game on our hands tonight, Beta. Dog Roll rotated in around in spawn when he had 82%, and he was not healing anyone for that entire time that he walked from one end of the spawn to the other. And that caused him to just not have Uber in time. When he finally got the Uber, everyone was dead except for the demo. And then uh, Servo Mutt, they just retreated, patiently waited, and then came back in and just destroyed him 5v2. So great play by Servo Mutt, for sure. And uh, take us uh, through this third myth. 
Yeah, we see again this the soldier aggression from Fane jumping forward. He is still doing so much damage with this, uh, with his jumps, but it seems that the other team is just walking forward and, and sort of kind of collapsing on them a little bit, and they do lose depth in the sort of counterbalance of that jump. But Doge is now coming in and doing quite a bit of damage, forcing him back with, uh, forcing Red Team back, I should say, with their scouts. He's going to trade with Raze just on that flank there. HSR is trying to take a little bit of a fight from the low ground here, and they are... Uh, Ubers are up even on both teams now, but oh, the scout gets dropped. Dogroll showing a little bit of his inexperience there, I feel, and just dropping his scout there, and Ivan hasn't even used. Oh, but that's Rocky coming in on the flank too and cleaning up TJ just at the tail end of this fight. He does lose his life to the respawning death who's coming in right now, but this is full add on the side of Ivan. That was really, really play, uh, well played by his team. Just the little DM fight there, and unfortunately, uh, the use from Dogroll not oh, quite being favorable. Oh, he's so low, but he does actually survive that. Yeah, Josh goes down in the end. They look like they're going to take this second point pretty handily right now, Beta. Should be quite easy for them. So that was really close. Like, Ivan, he, he got bombed there, and there was also stickies, like, being lobbed over. So if any of those had hit, he would have dropped. But uh, as it is, he, they have a full defense. They're going to move in here onto the point. They find the sentry gun. They're going to take that one down. No point present so far at all, but I think they're just looking for bags. Rocky's going to be... One of those guys, but actually it's going to be him getting the kill. So Rocky somehow just turning the, the tide of that battle. And now everyone's super weak faint. Hey, we, Ivan, he's on 30 HP. And it somehow just completely turned back there. And once again, just seemed a little bit too indecisive with what they want to use their Uber for. Yeah, it was a bit interesting. Uh, the soldiers jumped forward and I think they both shot different targets. And everyone was kind of low, but... Uh, the uh, other soldiers on red team just cleaned them up. Uh, uh, Rocky and Josh both getting a few frags in that fight uh, on scouts and soldiers respectively. And now they're moving this really, really far forward. They're jumping up on this high ground, not allowing anything there. There's just a bit of spam going on, but they're being chased out. Rocky really far forward in that kitchen area, not letting anyone uh, go for any mischievous plays. And they're just hoping to grind this Uber up so that it's uh, even for their second hold right now, Beta. Yeah, it's going to be a single soldier just jumping in very aggressively. I Usually I'd say that's uh, to buy space, but everyone else is super slow. But uh, finally they have made their way and take the Uber exchange right now. And uh, definitely Ivan having the better Uber so far. Dark Horse, he's going to have to run here to get out. Looks like he has sort of made it, but actually Fane's going to jump in. Just cut off the exit there, so now it's going to be a fight. It's do or die right now. Uh, looks like Fane has uh, finally let Dark Horse go, but uh, that was only a feint. That was really well played by Fane, because... Like Dogwell, he just wanted to, to get out, but then he just could not. And uh, <laughs> Race is going to try his best to get a pick there. But no, a really strong fight coming out there for several months. Yeah, it looks like they just miscalculated their ad a little bit. They were grinding quite well on the side of blue team. Uh, sorry, on the side of blue. Yeah, on the side of blue team there. Um, and when they sort of soloed in to try to get that trade, they realized very quickly that they needed to force there, and then they were in a really bad position post-Uber, which has unfortunately landed them back on their own second with about 50% Uber ad walking directly at them. Looks like through the saw area right now. Some traps going up, but I think it may be too little too late as they're going to have to back out of this second point. Rocky jumping forward to see if he can get anything. Hits some amazing rockets onto Deft. Uh, Ivan actually does use in the, in the end there some stickies from Moop forcing him out uh, so they do manage to use for this they get the second point but this is 70% uber on dog roll right now Fane is jumping in behind his ooh, midi fodder right now he does survive right at the end there and it does look like they're trying to muscle this on their two player ad oh it looks like they might change their mind those they know those spawns are coming in really really close and that uber should be up right now so they do opt to back oh, out and just grind behind or Fane going again. Nothing going, unfortunately, for him. He jumps into some scouts and just loses. Yeah, I really like the way Servomats actually played that, though. Like, they had the two person advantage, and they went in, and then as soon as the spawners were about to come in, he just fell back. You know, if they get the, the medic in that kind of push, they easily could do that, then it really works out. Actually, Doze right now is trying to sneak underneath, but he gets uh, caught out. Yeah, they see that. So that's going to be a second point going, going back uh, in the favor of Butterfly Effect. Now it's going to be Ivan, he's on 80%, so definitely going to be able to get his Uber here on this mid point, and I'm pretty sure that they, they realize on Butterfly Effect, so they're just going to take it easy, so going to be settling in for another stalemate where the teams can try to see if they can uh, coax the Uber out of the enemy team here. But uh, I, I wonder what they're going to do to try and set it up, but a uh, very strong push out right here. Uh, some, some really good play on both teams. 
Yeah, it looks to be just like they're setting up for a uh, sack again. <laughs> and as I say that, Fain jumps in and gets absolutely crushed by some stickies and then some scouts in the air. Fain oh, is having a pretty rough time right now as he's just playing that sacrifice Roma really, really well. He's obviously sacrificing pretty hard. And that's Josh going in for some sort of counterplay right there through Saw. It looked like, unfortunately, nothing going for him there either. Oh, Doge is actually the on window. the counter counter already. And, oh, he gets really close. If he had one more rocket onto Dog Roll, that would have, that would have cleaned him up. But his team protects him really well there. And um, Doge is up in another sort of 10 seconds. And is this uh, Fane playing Spy right now? Yes, he is on mid, committed to that spy play so this is how they choose to break it beta they're putting all their their eggs in the fane basket yet again well they might do uh, you know a soldier fane as well and then they can send in the real play which is the spy like very often you will play some sort of uh, distraction Look and at just him make sure they make him through yeah He's waddled through to a good position there. It doesn't look like they suspect it at all right now. Moop's having a little bit of a look around. Oh, he's been seen. Yeah, he walks out right there. But a knife into the middle of the air, and he kind of just beefs it there. Not quite sure. Wasn't the best play. I might have tried to get up in through maybe Cheese and get behind them or something like that. Would have been a, a bit better. But on that, they're really, really raining this forward. Doge goes down as well. They look like uh, Def wants to have a trade here. And this is actually not a bad Uber on the side of Ivan here as there's been several flashes on the side of Red Team. Um, but all the position has gone to Red Team right now. Yeah, and they're forced to back all the way out. Uh, Ivan and Faithless having a little bit of a duel. Sorry, not Ivan. Uh, TJ, I believe that is, and Faithless having a little bit of a duel uh, in Saw, but they are forced to back that out. Rocky trying to punish any sort of slow players in that rotation, and he just gets shut down. Fane's in behind too. Looks like he's getting a little bit of Roma special right now as Josh actually comes in and helps him out there. Both soldiers really low there, and Doge is jumping forward. Lots of damage onto Ray's, but nothing really going for his team right now. Josh has taken down super, super low too. He actually dies, but he gets traded out with Deft right away, and they choose to back right off to this last now beater. Butterfly effect right now. They've just won two DM battles in a row, right? Like that Uber exchange was completely even, and they just managed to muscle them out, and then they go in onto the second point. I said the soldier's going to jump in. I don't think he's able to find the medic. Yeah, Rocky, he, he couldn't find the medic, so he tried to get the soldier instead, but he did not be able to find that but yeah just a uh, butterfly effect being able to just take those dm fight that that's always uh, Ooh. a really good feeling when you do that so uh, Seth, yeah he's gonna find a head instead though yeah that's the scout down there faithless oh and they've actually used this uber out but it looks like the uber is going to be tried to be used to wrap them oh no they changed their mind really really quickly and deft is really far forward just to punish this dog roll looks like he's a bit a bit worried right now as he's forced to go back and that all oh, that backup attempt there there's still okay. going on in the background there but two gamers there go for that unfortunately he does manage to get the soldier but nothing else they they do send a lot back for that but they still managed to cap the point too uh, and this is still uh, an even uber situation even uber situation but they're still trying to muscle it a little bit lots of damage onto the pocket there of spade uh, but they are i think choosing to back this out a little bit and just uh, stalemate this out properly now beta yeah, I think that was Rocky that jumped in and uh, just hit some really nice rockets. Did a ton of damage to people and saw, and they just decided that it wasn't worth the effort to actually go through with it. So it was going to settle down here. It's completely even worse, and the uh, race has actually gone sniper, so he uh, he's playing it you know, pretty smart right here. Uh, now it's just a matter of where he decides to snipe from, and you know you always get that first shot that's uh, kind of quote unquote free, where they don't know that you have a sniper, so people can be out of position. But we'll, we'll see if he can actually actually use it. You don't, you have to hit your shot as well. Uh, unfortunately, you don't just get the the kills for free. Yeah, Raze is the the kind of player who would hit those shots though. He uh, unfortunately does main sniper, I believe. Uh, so he's <laughs> rotating through this lower area, watching window slash lower. Actually, rotating through to saw again. So I think he has a he has a good chance of hitting something here, of making something happen for his team. They do seem to just be uh throwing everything at him in this stalemate though the the classic throw your sniper at a choke until he hits a head gameplay that we're seeing here right, right now peter he has been spotted as well so he, he actually missed uh, his first shot yeah, he tried to shoot a scout and uh, oh, he actually hits a, a body shot onto fane right here and he has a, a lot of space here in grass and you can actually just when the, whenever teams hide like this from your sniper you can actually just basically take grass for free if uh, everyone's just hiding behind the fences so 
You can gain a lot of space with the sniper, and you can actually use that to get a storm to forward and then jump the medic. So this is not just uh, that you can snipe the medic, you can also just use him to, to buy space. And they oh, are Fane. Actually going in there. Yeah, Fane has been doing such a good job of jumping forward and denying that space. They. Uh, they were taking it before and he jumped forward and frightened them away and then they started trying to take it again and this time he committed to that fight and ended up trading out for Faithless. So he's he's doing quite a good job there but unfortunately he's dead right now and that sniper is getting quite a lot of space through that saw region. Doge has, has had enough though so he's he's sort of pushing him backwards a little bit there but we're back to the same situation. Ray's sniping. Uh, we don't see any off classes coming out from Fane uh, at the moment so we are just back to the uh, the same situation that we were before Beta. It's a little bit unfortunate that uh, the Snake Water second into middle area is it's pretty hard to actually make a play onto the team that's holding middle. So the cards are really just all in the hands of Butterfly Effect right now. So they have the sniper and then if they lose a player, it's very difficult. For They've them, uh, actually flooded all the way in through grass. Doge actually ate a pipe in Saw just before and now they're all the way forward into grass and Deft wants to take this trade. They run forward into that and it's just a demo v demo trade onto the grass area now. Uh, they do bring a scout into it right at the end but uh, uh, Ivan has actually fallen off onto the ground. Deft has taken so much damage and Spade has seen that and he has jumped right forward. He's managed to get the medic but while that has been happening everyone else on red team has died. Their medic just goes down and Moop gets cleaned up so the collapse on blue team there was so crisp and clean in that uh off uber play and i think the only reason ivan died there is because he walked off the edge a little bit so that's that's unfortunate but um yeah they still managed to to cap this mid out and it looks like it's going to be a pretty even uber situation again heading into mid to second but now the other way beta yeah indeed uh, good thing that they actually did manage to get ivan there otherwise this would be a much, much pre more precarious situation. Darkwell did get a, a bad spawn. It looks like he has uh, found his way forward to his team. Ubers are pretty even. Like Ivan, he does have a small advantage and they should know it as well. He hasn't gotten crits or anything. So they're, they're just going to play it uh, safe right now. And now it's going to be uh, pretty interesting to see how they play this because before we saw a sniper play. But it uh, looks like, oh, they're actually going grass. Maybe they know they have this advantage. They, they found a sword as well. Rocky gets caught out here. He wasn't expecting this giant push, but the giant push is coming. Oh, Fane and Zephyr actually behind them right now. They both die. They both die. They do get three for it, um, but they do both die there, unfortunately. And there is a soldier in, in Josh trying to get something to happen again. Ivan actually takes no damage in that. It was Def who kind of ate the most of that. But that arrow is up already, and it's just one soldier really, really far forward. He does actually manage to get the force. I don't know if Faithless has been spotted. Faithless actually manages to eat the entirety of that rocket jump from Doge just there. Dog roll getting the cleanup frag on that, but they stand on that point while there was no one alive, <laughs> unfortunately. And that is 2-1 on the side of... Uh, servo mutts right now, Beta. Yeah, that's uh, it. The that was a really strong push. I really liked how they used the tiniest of advantages to just like push really aggressively, and then they just won the DM fight. We've seen Butterfly Effect win a lot of those, but uh, yeah, this was not one of them. So, uh, like, what, what do you think you're going to see in this mid sample? Uh, I'm waiting for these blue soldiers to jump forward, but it looks like actually the complete opposite has happened and it's the red soldiers who've jumped forward. Fane is actually on super low health, may get cleaned up by Faithless here. But yeah, it's the super aggressive mid uh, from the red team, but it doesn't unfortunately work out for them, it looks, as it's just uh, Moop alive. He's doing quite a bit of damage to Fane. He does manage to trade in the end, uh, and the scout just stands still and cleans him up. But yeah, that, that, that didn't quite work out for them on the side of that double soldier aggression. They do, did so much damage, uh, Which is hiding, actually. Look at that. Mm. Both soldiers just walk past him. So once the medic comes running out here, he's definitely going to have a good chance. So two soldiers went to mid, but that's not important. Because oh my God. he's on the medic, he's on the medic. With 130, he gets uh, Doge Doge. with a big brain play. He has what such a pulsating brain right now. Yeah, Josh is actually in trying to do the opposite, but directly walking into a scout and a demo man unfortunately doesn't work out quite as well for him. Rocky is in... Oh no, Rocky changes his mind very, very quickly. But yeah, that huge brain play from Doge has set up his team so well. This 90% nigh on full uber charge advantage 
coming in for them and Faithless goes down right at the front. They are not going to contest this at all. They're all the way far back in uh, their own lobby right now. The point is getting capped and it looks like they're going to try to get uh, uh, Ivan in again all the way without using into last. Looks like under two, possibly right maybe. Um, or no, just straight under it looks like they want to do. They use that gun, uh, that Uber early and the gun happens to be right next to it too. Rocky gets an arrow actually but he looks like the soldiers are now both getting cleaned up. Oh no, they actually survived and Deft is the one that goes down. These soldiers are actually playing this super, super well. They do go down really, really late on that fight but I think they did enough right, uh, just staying alive for long enough and distracting everyone that they couldn't get any far, uh, any further forward I should say uh, and get any time on the point and that is a failed last push uh, from the blue team right there, Beta. Yeah, they just seem so scattered in all these pushes. Like, you, you see people go in different directions, and maybe they, they're too slow to... Well, not, I wouldn't even say they're slow to kill the gun, because <laughs> it literally gets switched off. But just some of them run forward, some of them run to the right, and they, they don't really put pressure on the point. So it just doesn't work out. Two soldiers going to jump forward here, try and see if they can put on some pressure. They're just going to get picked off. And it's actually going to be pretty difficult for them to get out. Look how weak Ivan is. He's going to have to go all the way out right now, otherwise he's just going to die to simple spam. Butterfly effect, they're going to move forward here onto mid. They might try to go and see if they can uh, deny a spawn, but it uh, looks like that's not going to be the case. Ghost will get it. He's being pressured pretty heavily already, though, and, and Depth, he is in deep, that's for sure. He will actually take the exchange here. Yeah, that was uh, that was really aggressive play. I like that from from uh, red team from uh, butterfly effect there. But it, um, Ubers had evened out by the time they were sort of pushing this on towards the second point, uh, and then this trade has just kind of happened. Oh, and it was going pretty badly for them. But this post Uber fight has just been turned around really quickly by that big distraction jump from Rocky actually, and then uh, the soldiers and demo man both walking forward and just dealing so much there. Just a couple of cleanup frags from their scouts too at the end, uh, and they. They basically wiped them Zeph I believe spawning up now on last he's just playing scout that's too little too late he can't 1v6 I think yeah 1v6 right now and that is actually 2-2 we have about five minutes left on this uh timer for this map this is a very very close game beater yeah Sandra this is uh, gonna go down to the wire that's for sure and so far in these mids we've seen the the soldier aggression I'd say it has been like, it never gets any kills, really, but it does create a bunch of space, and sometimes that's enough to win mid, other times it is not. But they, we'll see, maybe they, they're going to mix it up right now, but uh, these Sword of Bombs, they, they've definitely been uh, dictating the pace of this, and now they're going to see uh, the Double Sword of Bomb again. Doggo is super weak, he's actually being uh, put pressure down by a scout first, and they finally get the kill, so now it's just Ivan, he's being protected, the soldiers onto him, though, two soldiers onto him, can he just dance around everything? Uh, he's taking so much damage, no. Moop gonna does get clean that up in the end. Zeph actually does lose his life, and this is Faithless V2. Ooh, doesn't manage it. Doge is too strong. TJ and Doge teaming up right at the end there. But yeah, it was again that soldier aggression, as you say. Blue team were doing it this time, and I think red team have come wise to that. And they just, like, knew what to do to counter it. But then, uh, just at the, at the tail end of that Uber, everything just went really, really sour. It was the aggression from the entire team onto Dog Roll and the whole combo. And then just everyone was clumped together and some nice pipes from Deft just cleaned everyone up in the end there. Fane is actually in behind, uh, sorry, in really far forward, I should say, onto their second point. He does change his mind. Uh, and I believe that Doge actually did die really recently, which I kind of missed a little bit, unfortunately. Yeah, he was in pretty deep. Uh, he was on, on the house on second and he didn't have enough health to really get out. So he was just running around with the skill stick and he just got taken down. But here comes another jump in. There's gonna be uh, quite a lot of damage on the dark roll, but not enough to even make him consider popping, especially since he doesn't have it yet. So a <laughs> bit of a weird timing to go in for the force, but I mean, I guess he just wanted to kill just outright. You know, you can't, you can't save himself if you were to, he doesn't have it. So yeah, it works out. He got in pretty deep. Uh, I think that was a pretty good play coming out from Fane. Didn't work out, but that doesn't mean it's a bad play. It's going to be... Well, they do manage right to... Yeah, they, that forward aggression actually does manage to clean up that player in lobby. Does look like Spade may actually lose his life. No, the counter, the save from his scout, Faithless there, jumps forward. Faithless does die for it, though, but it does mean that uh, Spade survives. 
Um, yeah, we're sort of back to this stalemate again. As a soldier's down, uh, sorry, a soldier's down on one side and a scout's down on the other side. They're kind of trying to muscle grass a little bit, but they're uh, not really getting too much. Actually, they are coming really far forward. Rocky hitting a few rockets to sort of dissuade them a little bit. Uh, but now they've rotated all their attention here, and the trade is coming in. It's a solo on Moop versus a solo on the scout there. I assume that's TJ. They're flashing the soldier in right at the end. That's Ray's going down. Rocky is jumping really far forward. Looks like he's going to clean up Doge. He does. Oh, he might get a nice. Nice rocket onto Def too. Ooh, Def does survive right at the tail end of that. Everyone is so low. Some arrows from Ivan keeping everyone in the fight just there. Moop could die. Moop does die at the very end, and it's just Dogroll running back to his own last, and they're already in there. Some stickies raining towards that spawn door. As Two scout spawners, can they do it? No. Ooh, not going to be fast enough. There's still a minute remaining, so there is enough time to capture everything out here, but... Butterfly pick, they're going to need to be really quick, otherwise they will just not get this. They need to get on, they need to capture mid pretty quickly, they need to like, win the mid fight very handily, move into second very quickly, and then go in, just roll it all the way into last. So, they, I'm expecting them to do a super aggressive mid here. Rock is going to fly in immediately. I think there's a lot of damage onto the scout before being taken out, and look at this aggression. Oh, and they are cleaning up on that damage so much. Wow. wow. They're, they're doing it. Ivan, Ivan wiggled his way out there, though. He's still alive. He's managed to get all the way back to last, uh, which is some kind of saving grace. But as you say, they should have expected that hyper-aggressive mid, as that's what they need to get this time on the board. They have 20 seconds. They have one push. Ivan does not have enough time to get Uber here. So they'll have heals, but that's about it. Yeah, they're they're going to be moving in from, from lower here. The Uber has been forced. They need to get on the point. There's eight seconds remaining. They've got a demo man on the point. Got a scout on his lord. They're kind of flashing a lot, though. You see the Devilman, just, uh, everyone's just standing on it. Just one second, no, they can't do it in time. That was so close, but then again, it's going to be uh, Servo Mutz just taking this match in, a, in an absolute nail by the 3 to 2. Yeah, that was super close. Like, if they'd had, like, another 30 seconds, they could have played that post-Uber and possibly come out on top and not necessarily had to rush these things coming in. But, yeah, unfortunately, they do not quite have enough just to get it right at the end, and it is Servo Mutsu come out on top. Um, let's, uh, let's have a look at some of these logs. I'm going to see if I can find them. But before we do, is there someone who stands out to you before we even look at these logs? Um, I, I definitely thought... Uh, in a lot of these fights, it, it usually got determined by the soldiers jumping in kind of once the the, um, the main fight had kind of, the uh, main exchange had begun, then the soldier would jump in. So some of these soldiers like uh, Doge and, and Spade, I, I thought they were doing really well at just uh, playing those fights. Uh, I, I don't think they had like giant KDs or anything, but I, I definitely thought that was good. I also thought TJ was just staying alive like a, a lot. I, I never saw him die, so I'm pretty sure he had uh, good, good logs as well. So yeah, I, I mean, guess. the I I noticed as well. Moop doing so much work. Moop and Deft actually. I should say that the the demo men in both teams, like they were. Uh, like in the right spot a lot of the time and just like dealing so much damage like there was some really nice pipes from Def to clean everyone up uh, at the end of various mid fights uh, and pretty much the same happening again from Moop he, except I, I thought Moop used a bit more sticky wise like I didn't see him pipe too many people but I reckon both demo men must have had a really really good game I'm expecting you know 350 DPM or something like that from both of them like I reckon they would have played pretty well um, as well like well, I mean I've, I, I've found the logs and uh, I, I think there were a bit too few stale, uh, too many stalemates for it to, for the DPM to go go really sky high here. But yeah, both the moment did top damage, and uh, Moop had uh, slightly less than 300 DPM, and that uh, definitely was right. behind. So, yes, uh, nearly 300. All right, I overestimated it a little bit, but yeah, I mean one thing as well, like you talk about the soldiers on uh on blue team or oh, sorry whatever they were called servo mutts there one thing that i noticed kept happening was instead of coordinating some kind of like sack they would always just go in one at a time after each other it seemed to work but it's i feel that that shouldn't like if yeah. they're just sacking one at a time after another it's just like oh there goes doge oh there goes fane or vice versa or something like that i feel that that shouldn't necessarily be as effective as it is and if uh if they kind of clue in that that's what's happening, that they're just sending one soldier, one soldier, they can very, very easily counter that. Like, I mean, I felt that they were dying a lot more than they were getting stuff in those, in those like, stalemate situations. But, like, I feel that they would be more effective if they were both going to die anyway 
to just go at the same time. Like I didn't really get the the unsynced nature of what they were doing. Yeah, it but it obviously seemed like worked. they weren't like planning it out that much. Like even the, with the spy play, like we saw the spy going into the corner, and then we had people putting pressure on through grass, which meant that everyone rotated to like uh, to contest grass, which meant that the spy was not in a good position to be behind the medic, which just seems like bad planning, you know. So I don't think. Like, uh, they were really playing it out, and that goes for the soldiers as well. And also, the last pushes tended to be really poorly executed. Um, of course, if you have trouble with the last pushes, you can just play pro uh, product, right? Because there's no <laughs> last pushes here. So, That's uh, definitely true. Fault. Yeah, and that is indeed the map that we see next. I believe, is this product RCX? Is that... Oh, no, this is RC9, apparently. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if it makes too much of a difference, but I believe the one that should be played is RCX. I think there's just a few clipping changes on some of the rocks and there was like some sort of spawn bug that they fixed, but it looks like everyone's readied up and they're committing to play this on RC9. I don't think there's any difference. Uh, just before we do head into this very first mid, as I think we are readied up, do you have any predictions for this game? Do we see another close one beater? Mm, yeah, I think it's going to be another three to two, and I think... We're gonna see uh, butterfly effect win it. Uh, what about you? Uh, I'm actually I'm keen to I'm going with you in that. I want to see the butterfly effect come back. And as we as we sort of get into <laughs> this first map, oh, unfortunately, it's not going their way for this very very first mid. As Moop uh, and Dogroll both kind of got caught out, just sort of standing still a little bit and ate so much spam. And the two gamers running forward just at the very end there both die as well. And it's just Rocky living at the end of that Uber fight. Uh, sorry, of that mid-fight even, uh, and he just does opt to back out all the way to last there. So unfortunately, it's not going their way just yet. TJ and uh, HSR both doing quite a lot of work on that mid-fight, cleaning up on their soldier and demo man's damage. Apologize if you just heard the the mad dog doing a burnout outside my house there, but we are heading into another recontest here. Why don't you take us through this one, Vita? Yeah, as a, as a Evo in here, the Dome Man, he tries to get dodged with the Dark Lord Evo sl uh, just slink his way out. I thought so, but Doe's gonna find, just jump back in there super aggressively. He will get taken down, but he got what he wanted there. Dark Lord not getting out there quite enough. Oh! oh. Just spade with the big medic air shot, pops him up into there and takes him down. That's really huge. Now there's gonna be no heals on either side. Well, Ivan's still gonna be dead a lot longer. Darkwell has uh, returned here with his team, and they're going to go in here, pretty much get middle for free. They just need to make sure that they, nothing happens to them. Bane's going to come in here. Can he get him? Oh, Darkwell's so weak, but he will survive. And this is, again, this is the out-of-sync bomb. Doge is in, but I mean, oh, he, he obviously it. gets it. I mean, he was low, so that one kind of makes sense. They're like, oh, he's low there. But the one thing I don't get was that uh, Deft just stayed forward. And like, he did distract the scouts, which is great, which means meant his soldiers could get in, but he also dies for that. I mean, they're all up now, and they do have about 50% add, so I guess it worked, but I, there was no need for, for Death to die there, in my opinion. Yeah, Demo Man being alive is always good, but they're going to be moving in here right now. You see, both soldiers uh, are going to just uh, take care of Rocky, so Rocky, he dies, but he at least uh, distracted at least two players. Now the soldier's going to come in here, going to go on to Dark Wolf, but Dark is still pretty uh, healthy, but uh, a good rocket from space is going to be the only thing that can uh, save this push even a little bit. And they actually fail this uh, pretty handily. Now they're going to be at an even disadvantage. Yeah, I mean, it was a little bit of Uber Disad coming into that fight anyway. Uh, but Ivan just hit so many nutty arrows and Deft absolutely boned Raze with a really nice pipe too. So that was that was just some really nice aim coming out. Deft hitting some nice stuff and Ivan hitting some really clutch arrows there. It does look like they are committing this Uber forward. Dog roll is already low. He's caught yet again. Uh, and they are just cycling this Uber ad once uh, again and again and again, I should say. Uh, Moop and Rocky, the only survivors, uh, and they're all the way back at spawn. Moop looking like he could get caught here. That was a questionable play. He does manage to trade with Doge, but... <laughs> There's some PM in chat going on, but yeah, um, yeah, he does die there, and this is again, uh, the ad is actually a lot smaller than, than I thought it was going to be, it's only about 20% right now, and they're flooding forward, there's lots of damage there, Rocky does manage to get deft, Fane is going forward again, trying to get dog roll there, but dog roll does manage to run backwards. Does the, uh, the point gets capped out here, which is pretty nice, it does mean that the, the spawn's going to be pretty... 
uh, significantly later, but uh, so far they don't really have anyone dead, so that's fine. And uh, they've just managed to, to get the, the point right now, but uh, Ivan, he has a tiny uber advantage, they might uh, go on it. And uh, they're definitely just in right now. And yeah, and look at this, Darko, he's on 90%, and actually a really nice uber force coming in here from Spade. Gets a ton of damage, gets a kill, gets the uber force out, and now Darko's gonna come in there with the scout for the uber exchange. Or just the chase, really, onto Ivan. Yeah, he's dead. Goodbye. Yeah, it looks like a little bit of disconnect, actually, as the Scouts and Ivan both ran a little bit the wrong way there, and Ivan does get caught at, uh, at the end of that, unfortunately. But the the aggression is now coming in. Fane is in behind. Zeph actually manages to get raised on one HP. He does lose his life in the back lines there. Doge is still in, trying to do some cheesy stuff there. Does manage to catch Rocky, but unfortunately, that's all he's going to get, and the spawns are now coming in for, for Blue Team. But Red Team does hold the point, and with about the same amount of Uber Ad as... As Blue Team had before, there's about 20 on the side of Dog Roll right now. Looks like they're probably going to hold this pretty comfortably, um, barring some sort of godlike play from these soldiers, as we've been seeing just a few of these jumps. And as I say that, it's Doge coming in with his Tempest Hours coming into play. Unfortunately, he gets shut down so much. But again, the out of sync Soldier Bomb comes in and they clean him yeah. up instantly. Yeah, it, it really does feel like, you know, there's like a 40% chance that the, the bomb works, but if they just timed it properly, there would be maybe like a 50% chance. And uh, TJ, he's uh, in pretty deep. And actually, Ivan, he's went pretty close to dying right there. Move again, overextending. That's going to be just an open invitation for the team to run in. So that's gonna, that could be pretty important because the push is about to come in here. They need to go in. The time is ticking down. There's 20 seconds left. Those gonna fake the going behind and then comes in and do, does a ton of damage onto the scout. That's, that was actually a really slick play from him. Now the English oh, game's the gonna milk be so from much better Ivan. for Ivan. Wow, didn't even use. Call him a dairy farmer because he milked the crap out of that. He's still not used. That was amazing. And he manages to get the pack on Cliff. Uh, some nice arrows to heal his team right back up. And he, he lives, he doesn't use, and he was in the middle of so many Uber players. Just now the Uber does get uh, committed in. Faithless and TJ having a duel in the back, but that is so many people jumping forward, and it's just Rocky up on the flank right now. Jumping forward, seeing if he can get any damage onto Ivan. Manages to get deft, actually, uh, but that's all he manages to get, unfortunately. Ivan on about 60 health after that fight. Still surviving and still managing to get Uber ad after that amazing milk, and these players are jumping forward they know that it's do or die time we actually a fair bit of cap time here and they may opt to just give this up and then play the uber ad but no they're not they're actually dming everything and it is hsr doing so much damage rocky oh rocky actually wins the fight uh, and it's overtime for both teams right now but it's just raised 65 hp versus Get a demo man Oh, right amount of damage for a saw, and this cap is coming in, and it looks like no one else can get there in time. And that was right down to the wire, Beta. Yeah, I think we both predicted it was going to be close, and uh, yeah, so far we were definitely right. That was uh, extremely close, and I, I think like uh, that milk was definitely what did it. And then it also started out with Doge just doing this really smart play that put everyone out of position, and then he did a bunch of damage as well. That, that's kind of what set the stage for the, uh, the giant milk coming in here, but uh, we are going into the second mid, gonna be uh, once again Doge jumping in super aggressively, and uh, yeah, he's still alive, he actually gets a nice kill there right here, but Ivan has gone down, now there will be no heals, Fadeless gets piped down however, and it's gonna be Seth, he tries to get onto the Medic Doggle, he's, he's just dancing, doesn't die, and uh, that's gonna be the end of that mid for sure, and, uh, just the fact that uh, they managed to keep, keep their Medic alive, that's gonna be the winning factor on this mid, for Butterfly Effect. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like jumping on that cliffside, no one really committed to that fight against Doge, and he just was not there when his team needed him. Then when he tried to commit back in, he just got owned. It looks like he's trying to do the exact same thing, jumping towards this cliff pack. He is actually, oh no, losing the DM battle to Rocky there. But again, there's everyone sacking forward right now. That is the classic sack, <laughs> is it four-man sack that we see on product all the time and it is TJ and Ivan building in spawn safely and they do manage to get that force out beater. Really well played. Uh, like that was a four man sack but they actually had put the medic uh, way out there so to get him heals. And uh, there's actually a pyro who's going to try to push their way in. <laughs> These reflects are so good on this soldier. Uh, everyone else uh, are just so weak. Look at that Rocky. He actually gets uh, arrowed as he jumps out. But, uh, a good break there from Doge. He's going to be a little bit out of the fight here. but. He did definitely did uh, a lot of work 
I mean, his soldier jumped in very aggressively. That gets the Uber Force out. Doggo's in a really good position right now. He's so far back. He's not going to get caught out this time around. Uh, a big issue has been Doggo just being a little bit too far forward. Same thing with Luke, but they both get out alive right now. So maybe they're catching on and just uh, playing it smart. So they get out, and now they will have Uber Bandit to try and push back in and retake the point. Yeah, it's definitely been much better, like much better read that situation than all of the other situations have been. But I mean, it was fairly, fairly well telegraphed. There was that sack that got the force there. Fane is actually in. Skill stick oh, is he's out. With he's melee him twice. Right. Oh my god! He gets the force with the skill stick. How did he stay alive for that long? That was unreal. He was just <laughs> running, like uh, after the medic for so long, like uh, a solid five seconds. That is an oh. a age and a half when you're That's uh, hilarious. on five health. <laughs> they, they were trying to, to stop capping so that they got the spawn of Faithless up too, but someone stood on it a second too soon and he got denied. And then what they lost two right at the end. Ivan does survive. Deft is actually on two health as well. That arrow not hitting him just yet, but they're all the way forward getting this cap time out as it is the soldiers jumping forward, giving them all of that space. And that cap is now gone theirs. Uh, their way, I should say. And the soldiers are being really aggressive. Doge is just bouncing around this map all the time, Beta. Yeah, he will not stay in one position uh, for a very long time. We're going to see Sniper for the first time around. He's going to see be spayed, trying to see if he can uh, hit some shots. I don't think he's been spotted quite yet. So this is the, the really powerful position where they don't know, so people will just walk into these sidelines. They are not really doing that, though. They're just going to pop around, so maybe they do, you know, and they... They get the force out pretty quickly, and now there's a soldier behind lines trying to fight a sniper. He's going to come in and uh, get onto the soldiers of Doge. Doing so much, actually gets air shot instead, and uh, he will go down. And uh, this has uh, turned out pretty ugly. The medic is out, however, so it's going to be even Ubers right now. Yeah, they're, they're down a bunch of players, but that, that's not that important when you get the, the superior spawns of being uh, down the point. So uh, pretty well played overall here by both teams. Very even situations. Time is ticking down right now for Butterfly Effect. They have a time advantage for sure right now. They hold the point and the Eagles are even. But like so far, these teams have not been very good at holding on to the, to the point for a very long time. Nice air shot there coming out from Rocky. Not the hero to get the kill. That was a fully buff soldier. And uh, once again, Fane's going to be in very aggressively. Put people out of position. But, uh, he does both take of it down these soldiers the die. It's nice to see them jumping in sync, actually. But they both, unfortunately, die for it. As they... It's a nice DM actually coming in. Uh, and they do actually already, as you say, these teams aren't holding the point uh, for very long at all. Uh, oh, sorry, I say. I said the complete wrong thing. Uh, and it was not a successful repush. I thought they capped that. Uh, that's my bad. But yeah. the Uber has actually been committed from Cliff, and he dog roll just uses to save Moop there. But he does drop Faithless Doge uh, and TJ both combining for that frag. TJ is still in behind, uh, jumping around a little bit, causing a lot of distraction, and Ooh, Fane hits Fane. the shot. Nice rocket from him there. It does look like Deft is... Oh, Deft is DMing some, some people too. Unfortunately, that's too little too late. That's five seconds left on the timer. Two scouts and a soldier up. Doge is jumping really far forward, but he's going to jump right into those stickies, and he actually gets propelled too far forward and doesn't actually manage to get onto the point, and that is 1-1, one, one. and that was actually a really convincing round uh, from the butterfly effect there, Beta. Yeah, as soon as I said they weren't very good at holding the point for a long time, they held the point for quite a long time, for like uh, almost two minutes there. So it was a good job by them. Not really the best fight. They were just jumping was in, or players into the Uber, it seemed like, and then they had two players behind and two in front, and the two players behind were fighting against Uber. So that didn't work out too well. Looks like Fane's going to go in there again. Uh, Doe's going to do the same job he's done so many times, but this time around it doesn't quite work out. And now his team is uh, at a one-man disadvantage. I think they're just going to have to get out of here for death. And see that they want to fight in there. They win the first little duel right there. And then Rock is going to jump in now, however, and they just push players back once again. They've kept the points. That means that they have uh, uh, inferior spawns as it is right now. But uh, the counter push is going to come in here, but it's not really looking too convincing. A really nice mid so far in favor of Butterfly Effect. Yeah, they do actually trade out, out on this two servo months here, and TJ gets uh, actually does manage to get a frag there, but in the post uber situation, Ivan is actually very low, so he's forced to back a fair bit away. Some nice rockets actually from Doge, but nothing gum coming from it. Uh, actually, there is one cleanup frag from Def there as he pipes the scout. TJ coming back in again and does manage to get Rocky, so that is two down on each team right now as Spade does spawn back up. He does actually spawn back up on Sniper even. It's interesting to see this Sniper play 
without holding the point. It's not something that you usually see, but they played it really smart before, and it does seem that they're trying to get the same situation happening again. What they did is they sent a scout forward to kind of cheese the point just a little bit, uh, and then, yes, Ooh. and then they do it, and they bait them to walk forward. Last time Ivan used, but this time he just gets body shot out. That is a really cool play. They just bait the cap. And, and force them to walk into the sight line and he gets his first shot and this time he does manage to frag Ivan. And there are three up now. Zef loses his life on point. Ivan spawning up with Deft, uh, sort of just trapping out this cliff area a little bit. And that was really nicely played from Butterfly Effect. Yeah, they blopped around their medic really well there after they got the medic pick. T did, he's still behind lines. Uh, does 75 damage to a scout, but uh, he will not be able to get him. So he's going to have a, a short spawn before he can get in here and help out his team. Looks like everyone's just cliffside right now, waiting for a good opportunity to go in. I think we're about to see a suicide wave coming in. See the medic, he's, I think he's just going to run back with the scout once everyone goes in. And here, here comes the wave. Someone's going to come in first, gets air shot. And will not get doubled, however. Second Sword comes in, he gets denied. But the Uber has been forced. Ivan, can he make it out alive? Looks like those can actually make it out alive as well. So a really well executed suicide wave right here. I didn't quite see what forced dog roll, but uh, very well uh, designed just push coming out here. Yeah, he was standing in the wrong spot. He was like literally just standing pretty much where his demo man is standing right now. And he just ate a pipe to the teeth and was forced as some stickies and rockets were just like flying there. And oh, Ivan drops to Rocky. Ooh. Yeah, what, what a rocket coming out there. Just to, uh, I don't think you saw that one coming. And now they're going <laughs> to just come in here. They, they're still putting time onto the point. I think they're just blobbing around Dogwell, making sure he does get picked off. And they're, you know, losing the, the point for a short while is not that bad because then you get the, a nice respawn wave. And yeah, they're, they're going to just uh, lose the point, immediately take it back. That's usually better than the just, minimum uh, amount of time they could have lost it for. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And uh, that, that's actually like a, a nice little tip for the team to just, just let, the, let them cap and then you can recap it. Because then you get the, uh, a nice respawn wave, you get to recap it, it's all good. And uh, now we're going to see, uh, once again, Uber Advance is coming in here. Now oh, the sack coming in. Soldier and Demo Man both get the force out. They both die for it, though. It looks like Zeph is going to get caught, too, uh, in HSR. And Fane, actually. So they did uh, do a five man, uh, four-man sack, even. Um, and that's TJ and, and Ivan grinding at spawn. I predict TJ having 40% heals at the end of this due to just grinding in spawn. <laughs> they did actually successfully engineer their uh, their Uber advantage here now. So this is their push. They have about 20 seconds with which to, to get out here. The Pyro has been committed going out. Uh, he does walk back now. They do get a frag on Rocky, actually, which is quite nice. Moop hitting some stickies on them, but they do actually just use out here. Looks like Moop may be the only frag that they get, though, as their dog roll is so far back. Yeah, they're just like, look, we have two minutes to, to re-push this, uh, and now we have full Uber ad, so we're just going to play this sensibly, which is really, really nice to see some controlled play coming out of this team here. Uh, and they are just about up on their Uber. Looks like they're going to be pushing from the cliff side here, Beta. Yeah, Soda's gonna try to jump in, see if he can get him. See Doji's just waiting for it. He's up here, and uh, now Fane's gonna come in before they get the Uber Force out really quickly. However, did they oh. lose too much in the process? Uh, they might have uh, the cap is coming in. They need to contest it. There's only two seconds on the clock. If this point gets capped out, it's gonna be over real quick. And they have actually done a pretty good job of just coming in here. Rocky, he's still alive. He's been fighting two scouts. And now it's just gonna be Seth and Def trying their best. Def's gonna go down to a rocket. Seth. Go, go get him, boy. No, not going to be enough. And now it's going to be just uh, the comeback uh, from Butterfly Effect. They're up 2-1, to one, and they've been looking really strong these last two rounds. Yeah, I've really been liking the way they've managed to engineer the Uber ad for themselves in several different occasions, uh, either through some really nice bombs or some really nice sniper play coming up from Spade. So I'm keen to see uh, how, they, how they fight this mid, because I'm not sure how many mids they've actually uh, won. But, oh, Doge actually has rolled out Sniper. Doge being a, a Highlander Sniper originally back in the day, uh, and he's showing his shots right now as he's actually created so much space for his team. They're in no position to do anything right now. The Soldier's jumping forward to see if he can get him. He actually does manage to get him. They do lose two right at the end of that, uh, and they are ready to repush now, are the uh, red team, uh, as they are actually had all of their spawners come in, barring Rocky, and that point, literally 10 seconds later, has gone right back into their face. Uh, with the first cap of the round uh, and it does seem to be still even Ubers as Doge uh, did not hit a shot onto 
uh, onto Dog Roll there, and he's actually spawned Sniper again. I wonder if they're going to try something similar, see if they can uh, cheese this point a little bit and get someone to, to show their face into this sight line here, Beta. Yeah, they're just going to... Okay, they, I mean, they, they've taken the Uber Exchange. Looks like uh, TJ is going to see if he can uh, make them flash. He, he makes them flash a little bit. He actually finds Rocky as well on the flank right now. So really well executed Uber right now. And can they get another scout? They can. Well, beautiful Uber coming out here. And that, that's pretty rare to see uh, the, the team with the sniper actually just just toying with the other team with that Uber. <laughs> Dev's going to jump in really aggressively into a scout. I don't think he was expecting the scout to be that aggressive, but he just manages to survive. Rocky sees on the far right. He's just waiting for him, uh, the rest of his team to be able to, to maybe make a play. He's, I, I think he still has a pretty nice uh, sideline to get in here, but now the defense has just been completely set up. It was, uh, even, it's just positioning right now, but pushing into a sniper, that's always a really uncomfortable, Xander. Yeah, definitely. And Doge, like that spot on the trash on the side of Connector is, is always his spot now. He's moved actually back to China, in which is a much more commanding position. But they're sending two people behind right now. There's a scout. Oh no, they've... Yeah, scout's coming up onto point right now. Jumping, see if he can get anything onto the medic. Ivan actually takes a lot of damage from Ray's just then. Uh, but his two scouts ball up around him. And that is now three down on the side of Red Team. And this sniper is actually paying a lot of dividends for them. Rocky... Uh, sorry, not Rocky. Doge is a very good sniper. So... Uh, um, Rays and Rocky, uh, sorry, Rays and Doge rather, sniper rivals in Highlander. So it'll be interesting to see if, if Rays does choose to come out as a counter sniper or something like that at some point. Oh, Rocky comes in for the force and does manage to get it. Ivan actually taken down really, really low and the trade has come out, but they are forced to back all the way out from that trade and it looks like the point may go back in the favor of red team right now and Doge is being spammed out pretty effectively actually, though he has managed to rotate Cliff and he's got a good sight line right now and that is Moop getting crushed by a really nice shot from Doge and he's still staying alive taking a really aggressive shot forward there he does get cleaned up by Rocky in the end uh, but it oh there's actually a the really scout big from collapse raise with the big flank there just comes in puts the clamps on making sure that nobody can get out alive and that's going to be everyone dead except for depth I think that was even a respawner so great fight right coming out right now We've seen uh, a bunch of times where Butterfly Effect, they've been caught in and, uh, you know, maybe they've just been reading and going, oh, this is the mistake we're making. Let's make them make that mistake instead. Just yeah. to... Did definitely, yeah, it did definitely seem like that was happening as it was everyone caught out in that, that sort of corner <laughs> area. And, and all this Doge going in again, Fane going in again at the same time this time. Dog Roll is Dog on roll. a bee's genital worth of health. He does manage to get cleaned up in the end. Looks like Moop is going to get cleaned up by HSR as well, but some nice rockets from Spade may clean him up. Oh, yeah, he gets crushed by Spade. Really nice DM from him coming out there. Though Rocky is really, really far forward, making sure that uh, they can't really get anything and there is a gremlin uh raise is gremlining in the main area but it looks like they've not pushed main but he may commit oh, to this fight here he's coming he's nearly two shot ivan ivan's wiggling for his life oh and he does oh. survive unfortunate there that was a, a really nice try there unfortunately he couldn't quite find his shot rock is gonna see if he can get in there and finish it Ooh, does ivan oh, trade up oh, ivan. oh ivan's a god he's at 10 hp josh is coming in too to see if he can get anything he's forced to jump all the way back out they put all their eggs in the frag Ivan basket, but he's just too wiggly for them. That was some phenomenal play, and they managed to cap out this point. The time is still in the favor of Butterfly Effect, but Servo must stand a really good chance here after that excellent wiggle from Ivan there, Beta. He should have been dead, but he's not. So now, <laughs> now it's going to be uh, pushing into this uh, point here. So the, the time definitely favors Butterfly Effect, but it's not a whole lot. And they're pushing in here with Evil because there's no sniper anymore. So it seems like that was just a, a transition way to really just break up the, the flow of the game. And the, the exchange has come out. Doggo's getting juggled so hard. He's not going to be able to get out. He was trying to surf out, but he was just completely stuck in, getting completely penciled over and over again. And uh, now it's going to look like... Uh, actually, everyone has gone down. The medic is still alive, but he's going to go down eventually. And... Uh, at the very end there, they actually managed to, to win this fight, Butterfly Effect, and now they're going to be able to recap the point to get all the spawns that they need. And uh, this is going to be so close. Times are completely even right now. And it's going to be basically one big push here for them, for uh, Servo to get in here and uh, perhaps try to get 
this cap out, but <laughs> I mean, they, yeah. they have time to do it, but if they cap it, it's going to be the same exact situation, but just the other way around. Yeah, and there's no time for an Uber here unless they do manage to recap it without Ivan dying, but we do see the Rocky Pudis actually coming up, and he's doing so much work for his team right now, as he is just sort of this big, heavy ball of, of health that they have to get through. He's doing, he's taking a fair bit of damage, but Razor's being far forward, and these scouts are forced to walk into the, into the point of the fully spun up heavy, and that's... Oh, they don't get there in time. They actually had the giant man advantage, but they just didn't get to the point in time. The big heavy, he was too scary, just uh, zoned everyone away from the point, and that's going to be three to one in favor of Butterfly Effect. So that means they're going to be taking both maps, right? Yeah. Uh, no, no I was Servo yeah, took the first the map one. and they have come back on this one. I'd like to say that we both uh, both called it at the start, but like we, I, I don't know. I kind of guessed. I kind of just went. I want, I want Butterfly Effect to come back here because they they definitely have it in them to do it. And it was it was so many so close rounds there, um, but yeah, they just didn't quite manage it at the end there, Beta. Yeah, it was looking so good as well, right? Because I, I think the the first round went to, to Servo and then Butterfly Effect just 3 0 them after that. Like, it, it really seemed like it just reached a, a certain point and then they were just like, nah, no more. And, uh, like, it's even interesting because Moop was definitely having a rough game. He went 5 for 13 um, and he was getting picked off a lot. He was overextending and, like, the entire team would retreat and then Moop would just be standing there not having gotten the memo and then he would just die. So even with uh, him having a super rough game, it, he still his team just still won it pretty handily. So, so very yeah, definitely. I think that definitely comes down to just Rocky. Rocky's jumping around so much. Like he he was the most effective like soldier on that team. I feel I felt like Doge and uh, Fane were both getting shut down really hard. And if you look at Fane's death stat, he got thirty deaths, which is you know <laughs> that is you know Classic. six minute rounds. Like that's a lot of deaths. Yeah, that is Romer on product, for sure. <laughs> Just getting chewed up by Scout. Yeah, I think Doge, he definitely had the more uh, of an effect, but he, he kind of seemed like a one-trick pony. Like, he would just jump the cliff and then jump back out over and over again. That, that seemed to be his, like, go-to move, and he did it almost all the time. And at some point, they just kind of figured it out that they could just, like... Like, that was where was he was going to jump to, so they could just deal with him really quickly. <laughs> So at some point, it just didn't work out anymore. Yeah, and I feel that they, like, as you say, they did try to break up that pace of that game by switching him over to Sniper, and it did work for a bit, but they just collapsed on them in the corner and just absolutely shut them down. And I feel, yeah, he, he wasn't necessarily the most effective player on, on product there. I reckon it was definitely the scouts stepped up big time. Faithless and Rays both having a very, very good game uh, on the side of red team, and unfortunately, they couldn't quite couldn't quite get back into it on Servo Mutts. It was really, really close in several rounds, but yeah, just going going the other way a little bit too much there, Beta. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, that does mean that they just share the points. Is it just three points per, per map win? Is that how it works? Uh, it I'm not sure exactly how the points work, but I believe they'll both get two points each, like I for, for each map win, or three points, depending on how many points it is per map win. But they'll get the same amount of points per map win, I believe. Um, but yeah, yeah but how would that uh, affect their total score? Can they get to 10,000, like Coffee Club? <laughs> <or? laughs> I, I'm not sure. Yeah, the, the Warzone has some, has some nutty total scores on it at the moment. I believe Coffee... Yeah, the... the yeah, the total score is a is a bit silly, but yeah, I believe I believe that ten thousand is the score to beat this season from Coffee Clock. The next the next highest is seventeen, so I think it's anyone's yeah. game right now. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm sure someone will catch up. It seems to completely doable. Yeah, I, I I don't know how that works, but I'm I'm sure they're gonna get to like at least nine thousand. You know. Yeah, it's I getting think... getting over nine thousand. That's the hard bit, from what I've heard. Yeah, uh, that's when when things go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I think we might not do any interviews tonight. Um, but we'll we will uh start wrapping things up. Uh, do you have any shout outs, Peter? Um, guess we should shout out the V two for for doing uh, planning stuff, and um, yeah, shout out to to you guys for uh, letting me cast. I I think this is actually the first time I've cast this in Copenhagen Games. It's been uh been the drought. So 
yeah, I'm I'm happy <laughs> that I get the cast. And then otherwise, so shout out to Ari because he's the best. Awesome. Uh, shout out to Thermite for producing. As always, it's a pleasure to work with you. Uh, shout out to Beta for, for coming all the way to Australia to cast this game. Um, always great to have some EU talent dropping in. Uh, shout out to both teams for a really, really good game. This is a great start to our TF Live's coverage of this season. Uh, unfortunately, we did miss week one, uh, but we're back right into it in week two. If all the games are like this, I reckon we have a killer season uh, ahead of us. We'll be back with some more coverage uh, in the next few weeks of uh, hopefully some of the top two teams in the Coffee Clock and I believe they're called Barrel of Apes, the second place team right now. Um, which is like Geo, Elmo, Pawson, Enrith, Locke. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty good, pretty good reform team. I'm keen to see what they can do. Uh, but yeah, so we'll be back in uh, next week with some more games for you. Uh, in the meantime, sleep well, and I'll catch you all in the next stream. Good night. Good night.